Namaste Guru Kulians. I hope you all are safe and fine at your house. And uh, today I am again with the same chapter, Measurement and Motion, Classic Science. And in the last video lecture, I discussed about measurement and a bit about motion. I told you uh, about how to measure the things lengthwise and if you have a circular object or round object, how to measure the length of that. I hope you have done that activity at your home, which I told you. And uh, in apart from this in measurement, I also told you about different physical units, physical quantities and their standard units. I hope you remember. Please keep on revising these all points carefully and pen down them after revising for your revision. If you will revise or practice on the notebook, these things are going to be very fine in your mind. Okay, today we are going to discuss about motion. So uh, when I started this chapter, if you remember, I discussed about uh, body if a body is at rest if you observe around you there might be some things which are at rest and there might be some things which are in motion suppose if you are sitting in a room so the table chair bed or any other things they are at rest because they are not changing their position they are still so they are at rest if any body changes its position with respect to time so that is known as the body is said to be in motion so how you define a motion motion is when a body changes its position with respect to time i am going to write it so how you define a motion when body changes its position with respect to with respect to time so the body is said to be in motion because it is moving from its position and time is also running so the body is changing its position with respect to time okay so uh, further if you categorize the type of motions there are different kind of motions here in this so we are writing it here types of types of motion there are different types of motion the very first one i am telling you is it is linear or translational motion the very first one is linear or translational motion so what kind of motion is it linear or transitional motion if the body is moving so all the categories that we are going to discuss now they all are in motion means they all are moving but their uh, qualities or maybe their uh, specific areas are different how they are moving with respect to time is it the same equal interval of time or the time interval is changing that we are going to discuss in detail so the very first one i told you is it is linear or translational motion in this kind of motion the body moves at a same distance with equal interval of time okay the body is moving straight or the body is moving in same direction with same distance and same interval of time so it covers the in linear motion same distance in same time or equal interval of time so this is known as linear or translational motion further this linear or translational motion is of two types the very first one is rectilinear and the second one is curvilinear so here under this the very first one i'm telling you is rectilinear and the second one is curvilinear the first which i'm telling you is rectilinear motion so what is a rectilinear motion if a body is moving in a straight direction straight line okay so if a body or object move in straight line so what are the example of this if a body is moving straight line 
for example a car is moving on a road in a straight direction okay secondly the boy if if a boy is on the slide and it is sliding down okay so that is a rectilinear motion so we can write it as example but we can write it as an example like car moving in on straight road or in straight direction so this is rectilinear motion the second i told you is curvy linear motion what happens in curvy linear motion as a name is indicating curvy linear means making a curve like position curve so if a bo body is moving in a curved path curved means suppose you are like playing a basketball okay so during playing uh, the basketball you throw the ball to the net okay so that the ball moves in this kind of position suppose you are here and you have to put the ball here at this area you have to put the ball here from this very position you are standing here so what you will do you will throw the ball right from here to this net so the body is moving in a curved path this is a curved path so this kind of motion is known as curvy linear motion if a body moves in a in a curved path so what are examples other than this basketball suppose uh, you are riding a cycle so cycle taking turn okay you can give example of basketball also or when cycle is taking turn both can be the example of the curvy linear motion so this was the two type of linear or translational motion i told you about two types rectilinear and curvy linear the second one i'm telling you is this was the first one the second one is circular circular motion circular motion means in the circular motion the body moves in a circular path body moves in a circular path about a fixed point so body move in a circular path around a fixed point so that motion that kind of motion is known as circular or rotational also you can say it circular or rotational motion so uh, what can be the example a body is moving in a circular path without changing its position okay the body is at the same position body is at the same position but it is moving it is moving how uh, which uh, example you can put it put in here in the circular motion without changing the position the body is moving like giant wheel okay example you can give of giant wheel in giant wheel you might have seen in giant wheel that in giant wheel this is the center point so the giant wheel moves giant wheel moves around its center axis it it moves around its axis it moves around its axis but as such the body is not changing its position the body is at the same position so this is known as a circular or the rotational motion okay and in circular motion all the parts do not move at the same distance and the same equal interval of time okay the equal interval of time is not there the time interval may change in this in this case so the next one we are going to do is first one we have done is linear the second one is circular now the third one we are carrying is periodic okay 
so third one i'm telling you is linear circular or rotational now the third is periodic periodic motion periodic motion means the body repeats or the body repeats the same motion at equal or regular interval of time so what is the definition periodic motion means the body see you need to understand the difference between all these we will discuss again we will i will summarize uh, all the things again but as i'm telling you right now you must keep it in your mind you must understand it carefully what is periodic motion so the periodic motion is when the body repeats same motion at at equal intervals of time so this is known as periodic motion what can be the example of periodic motion in the example of periodic motion you can give example of pendulum clock okay the second hand of the clock these all come in the periodic motion because they are continuously moving pendulum is continuously moving and at equal distance equal interval of time so this is known as periodic motion now what will be the opposite of that means periodic motion when the body is repeating the same motion at the regular or equal interval of time and the opposite of this will be non periodic motion where the body is not repeating the same motion in the regular interval of time that is known as non periodic motion so the fourth one is fourth one is non periodic periodic means the body is repeating the same motion at regular interval of time but in non periodic the body is not repeating same motion or same distance you can also say same distance at equal interval of time you can also write this at equal interval of time so this is known as non periodic motion so what can be the example of non periodic motion suppose uh, i ask you about like the birds flying in the sky they are moving randomly they don't have any uh, periodic motion or equal kind of motion they are moving randomly uh, with no equal distance in equal interval of time so this can be the example of non periodic motion now these are the four type of motions which i just described you the first one which was linear motion under which we have discussed rectilinear and curvilinear the second one is circular or rotational the third one which i told you was periodic motion and the last one which i just told you is non periodic motion where the object does not repeat the same distance or same motion in the equal interval of time or the same interval of time now can a object have more than one kind of motion in exam you might have such kind of questions that can you give example of a body or a example of a motion where the body is exhibiting or body exhibits two kind of motion at same time like suppose uh, uh, you are you can give uh, different examples in this suppose a car that moves in a on a road a car moving on a road it might exhibit two kind of motion like the one is the very first which i told you the first kind of motion was linear means rectilinear so car is also uh, predicting or uh, sorry car is also uh, doing which kind of motion it is doing or it is going with linear or rectilinear kind of motion second motion which can be exhibited by the same car is 
non periodic because it is accelerating it is not covering the same distance in the equal or regular interval of time so this can be the example okay so these all were the example of motion now the next topic we are going to start is transport transport very easy topic transport means you know that if you have to go or you have to uh, like cover a distance of a smaller area or you need to go to a very closer area then you will move by bicycle maybe okay you may even walk to that place or if you are using a bicycle or you are using a bike or you are using a car so these all are the means of transport which are helping you to cover a distance from one or you are it is uh, enabling you to go from one place to other place so there are different means of transport so it there is a history behind it you know uh, earlier in earlier times people uh, do you think uh, they would be having rockets and aeroplanes or cars no there were no such kind of transportation system that time so people used to either walk along the distance or they uh, they need to like they had different kind of means of transport like one i'm telling you is horses they were uh, going to a distance or they was like if they have to go to a distance from one place to other they might use horses so after the invention of wheel after the invention of wheel the second which uh, second part which came was cart wheel so over that firstly i am writing it here firstly they use horses there after cart wheel which was pulled by animals there after the th third part third part is after the invention of like uh, there are different means of transport over the road also in the water also by air also so different kind of transportation systems are there so the first one which i told you is horses second is cart wheel third is after that the sail boats were there means people used to cover the distance uh, in the water through waterways they used to go from one place to other so next is sail boats sail boats or you may also write ships okay thereafter in 19th century in 19th century after the discovery of steam engine the train were now used by people trains steam engine trains and apart from this in the same era 18 and 19th century car were also being driven by the people or car were also used by the people to go from one place to other thereafter thereafter we have like more further advanced modern days we have aeroplanes aeroplanes and we also now have rockets and missiles so these all are included in the as a history of transport the very first one is horses cart wheel thereafter the waterways by ship sail boats in 19th century we had trains steam engines thereafter we had car aeroplanes and now we have every modern technique of transportation system and this was all for this chapter today we have discussed some of the uh, portion of uh, motions i described you different categories which are included under motion which is linear and second as second is circular there after periodic non periodic then in the last i discussed just discussed about transportation system so this was all about this chapter and this is the final video of this chapter if you have any query you may ask in the whatsapp group and please please stay at home be safe and keep revising all these topics don't go very fast you may take your time slowly slowly you may revise pen down the uh, things which just i have described you and uh, till then for that uh, i'll provide you after one or two day i'll provide you the pdf also of this chapter so till then namaste